So this is a bit of a random video, but it's something that I feel like has been talked about a lot, but I've never really have given my say on it. And it's about should LGBT, trans, gay, whatever other letters there are in this alphabet, should they be taught in schools? Now, when I'm saying school, I'm not saying college. I'm saying elementary, middle school, junior high, high school. Should these topics be discussed within schools? Because right now we've seen a lot of political conversations about them banning the LGBT stuff being taught in school. Some schools make it mandatory. Some teachers at points ask students about their pronouns. Now I'm gonna say this right now. I live in a very conservative area. I live around the Houston area of Texas. I don't live in Houston, but I live in an area around Houston where basically every town around me thinks of Houston as almost like the center of the world for some reason. But I live in that area. Now, some of y'all may see that as I'm being biased, I have certain opinions. I've had times where I thought I was a liberal. I've had times where I thought I'm conservative. Nowadays, I don't really value myself in a specific group. Nowadays, I am a free thinker. I'm someone who tries to seek the truth of the world and I try to see how it is. Now, I will say this though, I, I tend to lean more conservative. There's times my opinions are more conservative. There's times my opinions come off liberal. I don't know. At the end of the day, I try to seek the truth. I just seek it through conversation just like this. So some of y'all may be sensitive to this topic. You get to choose whether or not you get to click on the video because at the end of the day, I don't just want my channel to be just be YouTube commentary. I want it to be us talking about the world, us being able to talk about whatever. So now, should the LGBT be taught schools? Now there's been some examples. There's times there's been boycotts, there's been arguments, there's been fights. Obviously, the biggest ones that are more concerned about this are parents. Now I'm also gonna clarify, I'm not a parent. I don't have kids, I'm 21 years old, I'm young myself, I'm way too young to be having kids, all right? I do wanna have kids in the future, I do wanna become a father one day. The best example I can say is I have nephews, I have this one nephew, he's 10 years old, I love him to be here, and I, sometimes I feel pressured into feeling like I need to be a role model to him. So that's the closest I feel, but I am not a parent, that's it. But let me talk about this whole bullshit. So LGBT in school, now, I don't know how they conduct themselves in schools. And by the way, I'm talking about the American school system. I do not know anything about other countries of how they conduct it. Besides, I know how they do it in Mexico, but in Mexico, they ain't teaching LGBT stuff. But overall, what are they doing in schools? That's always been my question. Like, what is it that they're doing? So I decided to look into it. And I've seen that there are reports where some kids will come, come home to school and tell their mom that they learned that day about pronouns, that they learned how to address a he, him, they, them, she, this, she, that, z, 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 whatever it is. It's always like a new pronoun people are making up. Um, and I've seen reports like that. I've seen that sometimes teachers will bring in like a pride pin. There was that infamous video from, I think a couple of years ago where this lady when they were doing the national, uh, or not the national anthem, but the Pledge of Allegiance, instead of using a USA flag, she had the students pledge to the pride flag. And I know everyone gets riled up when it comes to that conversation about LGBT stuff. Anyways, do I think LGBT should be taught in schools? No. Now my question is, what exactly are they teaching? Because even from these examples I've been able to find, there's very few of them that I can find, and none of them seem to be too big, but some of them are too stupid in a way. It's like, it's weird. But I personally never had that. Growing up from the school system, I never had a moment where the teacher's like, hey everyone, say hello to your gay classmates, and then all the gay kids up. No, I grew up in a time where if you were gay, you were made fun of, straight up. Like, I'm, I'm, I know people are gonna get offended by that, and I was involved in it too. I, I'd joke around with the gay kids, all right? Sometimes I throw in a couple of words in there that, that YouTube doesn't find safe, but that was just my life. I grew up that way. I grew up in a very man environment. Again, I grew up in a much more conservative area. Over here where I'm from, we have a shitload of Hispanics, shitload of Latinos. I'm one of them. I grew up in a Latino household, and Latinos tend to be more conservative leaning, you know? And so I grew up over here the LGBT wasn't really anything. You did see a couple of gay kids, a couple of them girls with the dyed hair. I remember once I'm getting into an argument with the feminist in school. I have a couple stories of that because 
arguing with the feminists is always the funniest shit. I, I don't care what anyone says, but I've never really had to endure like a class section where we had to learn about pronouns. I do remember one time in ninth grade uh, in high school, freshman year of high school, I remember we had a story uh, and it was it was about like a trans person going to the restroom and that's when I first learned what trans people were. I don't remember, but it was in my English class and it was just like us reading the prompt and us trying to, I don't know, I guess trying to decipher what the fuck it is. I don't remember. All I remember is that it was like a tr- should trans people use the, the the restrooms that they desire and it was like this weird article but it wasn't that wasn't the point of reading it the point of it was like I, I don't remember this I just remember that being a rant that's the only time I can remember the LGBT being brought up in school so should students learn LGBT I must say this elementary kids should not should not because I believe when you're in elementary between the ages of four and through, I believe, before you turn 10, I think. And then intermediate and junior high, which a lot of y'all, that's just middle school. I went through intermediate and junior high. That was for me. It was two separate things. It was fifth, fifth and sixth grade and seventh and eighth grade. There were two different campuses, two different schools. Um, but I know some of y'all grew up in an environment where it was all connected. And it was just all called middle school. Why the Dire Wimpy Kid movies exist. But I would say this right now. The LGBT should not be taught in schools. Now, if a teacher wants to carry a little pin with like a pride flag in it, maybe in her cup holder or whatever, she wants to have a little pride flag, That I don't think that's an issue. I think to an extent, obviously, it's not the same thing, but it's almost kind of like a teacher maybe being from Nigeria and they decide to bring in a Nigeria flag. Now, what I wouldn't say is don't carry like a big ass flag and don't decorate your your classroom in pride flags. There's something that people forget is kids are homophobic. (laughs) Kids are homophobic. I remember one time we had this one gay friend and this was in high school and it was on a Saturday. I was hanging with this group of friends that I had and we had this one gay friend and he's very stereotypical gay. Like, you know, the slay queen. Yes, bitch. You know, (laughs) get him fatty, whatever, like all that. He's kind of like that in a way. And there's these kids who I think look like between the grades of fifth and sixth grade. And they were like, are you gay? And he was like, yeah. And they started calling him the F slur. They started just being mean to him. Like, bro, kids are ruthless. Kids are evil. Some of y'all don't know that, but kids are evil. My nephew's evil as fuck, bro. Like, he has an older sister. was my other nephew. And one time he got so mad at her. He told her to go wash the dishes like all women should. And it was it's it's funny to me. It's funny to me. That's why I was very sympathetic in that Sneeko video. Like some people were like, Oh, you're you're supporting hatred. And I was like, No, I'm I'm just understanding that kids are evil. Kids are not they're not intentionally evil, they just think it's funny to them, you know. But anyways, when it comes to a teacher and what they should bring, I think they can have a pin, they can have a tiny flag, they can have whatever. Alright? And if a kid asks them for some reason, hey, are you gay? more than welcome to say it you are okay just say yeah i'm gay and then that's it that's that's all that happens now it also gets into the conversation of when is it the point that a student should be taught lgbt now i don't believe you should ever be taught lgbt anything i don't think you should be taught about stuff like like how hormonal changes happen i think what it should be is once they get into a, a decent age you can be like, hey, gay people exist. That's it. As a Christian man, that's what I've been saying to people all the time. I say, hey, you don't have to agree with them. You don't have to accept them. But just understand they live amongst us. Just like anything else. They live amongst us. Gay people exist. Trans people exist. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm also going to laugh at the bullshit. Non-binary bullshit, I'm going to laugh at that. However, if a non-binary person came to me, I'm not going to be like, hey, you... I don't know what they call them. Non-binary person. You fucking non-binary person. You fucking day them. Look at you being pathetic. I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to be like, yeah, it's fucking stupid. I disagree with you, but hey, carry on with your day. You know, that's how I react when something like that. And yeah, I know some people are going to look at me like, oh, you're homophobic. Nah, this non-binary is a stupid thing. I'm sorry. Can I, can I, I know this is random, but why the fuck do people think there's more than two genders? You're either a man 
or a woman. You either got a hot dog or a bun, one or the other. And if you don't feel like you're in that group, okay, cool. That just means you're not either feminine or masculine. You lean to the other side. But don't come to me and tell me that you don't have a hot dog or a bun. You got one of them. God gave one of them to you. But still, I'm not going to be hateful. If a non-binary person watches the video, hey, much love to you. God says love it all your neighbors. Now, when it comes to that, when it comes to LGBT stuff, I think with a kid, I think between the grades of the beginning of pre-K, obviously, I think that's the first grade, from pre-K to sixth grade. So I think at sixth grade, you're like, what, 12, 13? No, I think you're 12 or 11. So from pre-K to sixth grade, I think you should never have those discussions in class. At most, if a kid asks, what are your thoughts on LGBT, just say, they exist. That's it. That's all you got to say. And if a kid tells you he's gay, I don't know why he would, but he's just gay or she or whatever. Okay? Now, when it gets to seventh and eighth grade and then up into high school, that is when your life starts changing. Seventh and eighth grade is when you're starting to be a little, you're almost gaining opinions that you never knew you had. You're learning a little more about the world. You're figuring out that the world is not as black and white as you've been taught to think. When you're in those ages, I think it's a little more appropriate to discuss it, but it depends what you're discussing, all right? I don't think you should be promoting LGBT stuff in general. I don't think you should be promoting people to be gay, to be trans, but I think what it should be is it should be, hey, people exist. I think that should always be the thing to say. And if you're gay, trans, whatever, that's up to you. At the end of the day, most of the people watching this are adults, I assume. So just respect other people. Treat people the way you want to be treated. That's how I say it. And again, especially for my fellow Christians out there, love thy neighbor. That's one of the biggest things that God tells us to do. And spread the word of God. That's what you got to do. All right. Now, high school, I think that is especially when you should have broader conversations. Now, this also gets into the conversation of sex ed, because there's parents who are very against sex ed. I'm going to tell you this right now. I think sex ed should be a requirement in high school, in high school, not prior to high school. Now, when you're in seventh, eighth, because I remember what, what grade, I think I was in sixth grade when they when I started understanding that my body is changing. I was starting to get horny. I think in fifth grade, that's when I first started liking girls. I remember I thought I was sinning. I was like, no, I can't like more than one girl. No, I started becoming fucking horny as fuck. I was starting to like every other girl every, everywhere. I like blonde women. I like white women. I like I like Hispanic women, black women, Asian women, although there wasn't that many Asians. I remember I had this big crush on the one Arab girl that we had in our entire fucking campus. No other Arab girl for some reason. That's another story for another time, okay? But, but <laughs> that's a, that is a funny story in itself. There's a reason to that, but... But sixth grade, that's when I started getting a little more horny. And I remember that was the year that we were shown this video of for, it's called Just Around the Corner. I know to some of y'all, y'all are getting nostalgic. You're like, oh my fucking God, I haven't heard that in years. Yeah, Just Around the Corner. It was a video to show us that we are going through puberty. Now, I wasn't horny in sixth grade. I was starting to get horny in seventh and eighth grade. So I think that's the age where you're starting to learn you know, that kind of simple stuff, but you're not really at that point when you're having intercourse because I remember in, in my school, it was only like one or two people would talk about how they masturbated for the first time. It wasn't until high school, to me, from what I've seen, because when you go to high school, I think you're 14. When you go to high school, that's when it's like free roam. You know, everyone's fucking that one girl that was in your English class. All of a sudden, she's now pregnant. She's now out of the school. And now you only hear from her years later where you find out that her husband fucking beat the shit out of her or something like that. Like, that's those are the stories you find post high school. And that's why I think sex ed is important. I know there's parents who are very against it. At the end of the day, I think sex ed is necessary. Now, I didn't even have sex ed. I had health class where we were taught very few things. It wasn't even about sex in that class. I think only one time I can remember where we were taught about condoms. And we weren't even taught anything we were just taught condoms are good boom that's it that's it and i remember for some reason i don't know who the fuck this bitch was but we had this teacher who brought in a special guest and she was telling for i don't remember what the fuck she was trying to teach us 
But at one point, she says, oh, I know all you guys act gay with one another. Well, what happens if one of your guy friends ends up really being gay? That means you, you were touching another man. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So what? The other guy's gay. Okay, cool. Who gives a shit? Like, doesn't mean you're going to fuck him. I, I always found that weird because I'm like, who the fuck is this bitch? Is she a teacher? Is she some type of professional? Like, the hell are you doing telling teenage boys not to act gay around one another? Like, guys do that all the time, bro, all right? We pretend to be gay with one another, not because we're gay, but because we're f trying to, ha we're having some buffoonery. We're having some buffoonery. We're just some Sunday night shenanigans, like, not nothing too different. Like, so what if I suck my homie, some homie's dick off in the school restroom? Like, that ain't your personal information. I don't know. Okay, I'm getting off topic. But I do think in, in element, in, uh, I do think in high school, that is when you should be taught more things about sex ed. I think at the basic, this is the basic, in the basics in high school, you should be taught, hey, please wear a condom. You know, I think it's important because here's the thing. And here's the, here's the truth. Here's the truth. If you're a teenager, you're probably going to start fucking. I lost my virginity at 16 and I ain't no Channing Tatum. I ain't no Chris Hemsworth. I ain't no Chris Evans. I ain't one of the Chris's. I'm some fucking fugly ass fucking Mexican who got lucky with the girl when I was 16. And I'm sure there's teenagers that are even watching this video that may have already fucked. That's the truth. That's the unfortunate truth the reality. And the reality is, especially teachers who only see you for like an hour per day, especially teachers, they can't control what you do outside of school. Even parents can't control that. Because I'm gonna tell you this also, parents, to the parents watching this, I was a teenager not long ago. I'm 21 years old. I can still remember my high school experience pretty, like, like it was just yesterday. Especially because I hang out with the friends that I had in high school. But all I can tell you is that while you may hope that your kids aren't fucking, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I really hope that I never have to deal with that. All you can do is tell them tips and advice in how to be safe and responsible. Because when you're overtly strict, all you're going to do is you're going to push your kids away. Your kids are going to be like, you're that fucking lame ass parent. I don't want to hear you. They're not going to care about that bullshit. And that's the unfortunate reality. So cutting out sex ed, telling kids that, you can't do anything, or at least teenagers, high schoolers. The problem is, you're just gonna cause them to want to do it more. I believe, I really believe this. Strict parents will make better liars, better liars. And my parents were strict. I can, they weren't too strict to that point. I was able to hang out with friends and all that. But I'll tell you this right now: when I had a bad grade, bam, 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 like all that bullshit, you know. So all I can say is that when you get to high school, you should allow sex ed to be taught, at least in a safe manner. Obviously, don't promote sex. I think still, when you have these conversations, whether you're a parent or a teacher, I think the number one thing you should promote is waiting till you're older, at least fuck a bitch that you actually like, because when you're in high school, you just want your dick wet. I won't lie to you. There's some girls that I, let's just say talk to, the best way I could say that I didn't like their personality. To me, all I liked was their pussy, not their personality. I didn't give a shit about anything else. And that's just life. You know? And I think it's important to teach teenagers, hey, if you're going to do it, do it with someone you actually like. Because if you get a girl pregnant, then you're going to have to deal with her for the rest of your life. Unless she gets an abortion and then y'all break up. Because... And here's the thing for my high schoolers watching this. I know in high school you have these lovey-dovey, romantical, it's the first time you're actually serious with the with a girl or a guy. And all I can tell you guys is please be very careful to my high schoolers watching this, to my young men and young women watching this. All I can tell you is please at least think about who you're doing it with because that person's going to be there for the rest of your life. If I was still dating the bitches I had in high school... I'd be fucking annoyed. If I got a bitch pregnant back then, I I would I'd probably shoot my brains out because to me I hate those people now. I hate I hate nearly every girl that I dated in high school. If I'm gonna keep it a buck, you know I know that sounds dark, but that's just the truth. So always be careful with that. But to my parents and the teachers out there, when it comes to the to the sex ed, just teach them to be safe and then 
tell them that hey please just be careful with who you're doing it with uh, make sure it's make sure I mean that's all you can do that's all you really can do because that's the kid's life at the end of the day and all you can do is give them the best advice now when it comes to gay bi whatever the LGBT stuff in, in high school I think what's important to teach them like I said about every other grade is I think you should have more conversations in high school and as in high school high school is that awkward time in your life where you're no longer a kid no one finds you adorable no one finds you cute no one thinks oh you're just an innocent kid now they think of you as you're some fucking nasty ass teenage boy or girl you better go the fuck up because you only got four more years of this bullshit until you got to get into the real world that's what people really think of you when you're in high school when you're in high school it's almost like a yeah, you got to phase out of this part of your life so they can phase into the other one. And no one gives a shit about you anymore. No one, they, it's weird because when you're in high school, people see you as a kid, but they also expect you not to act like a kid. That's like a weird part of high school. You know, you, you, you can't even vote when you're in high school, but yet you're told you can drive, you can do this, you can do that. And you're getting into the experimental years in high school. People like to drink, people like to smoke. I mean, I remember I would go into... A fucking bathroom and you'd see people smoking weed hitting a vape whatever it was always weird I remember one time in my high school for some reason I walked into a kid getting a haircut men's restrooms and high schools were odd bro I, I have no fucking idea why the fuck people got haircuts at school but it's that you know that's just part of life but you are phasing into that area in your life and when it comes to that, I think you should have conversations about everything. That was me as a kid. As a kid growing up, I always questioned everything around me. Some people may think of me as a conspiracy theorist or may think that I'm weird, that I have thoughts and opinions. But to me, I've always just been a conversationalist. I like talking to things. It's why I have a fucking YouTube channel. And that's why I've been talking to you for the last 22 minutes. Because I love talking. I love talking about whatever. Whether you agree or disagree. And I think in you know, obviously don't in the middle of math class be like, hey guys, let's not talk about geometry anymore. Let's talk about trainings. Let's talk about how men chop off their wieners and become girls. You know, obviously don't do that, but in an appropriate class, like sex ed, health class, whatever, I think it is appropriate to have conversations. But I will say this though, before that, I don't really think so. Before high school, it should be the, the conversation when it comes to the LGBT, to quickly sum up my video, is between pre-K to eighth grade, all you should really say is, hey, if you're gay, that's okay. If you're trans, I have no fuck. Wait, oh, fuck. No, no one can be trans in that age. You're a kid. You're a kid at the time. I know it's on the hot take, but I don't think anyone should transition under the age of minimum 16. Minimum 16. Then after that, parents approval. And then when you're 18, boom, that's up to you. I don't fucking care. But, but then when it comes to post high school, you should have more robust conversations about it. But prior to that, when it comes to before eighth grade, again, you can have a pride pin, you can have a, you can have, you can have a gay flag, a tiny one, but that's about it. You don't need to be having these gay celebrations. The fuck you celebrate? Putting a dick into another man? I don't think that's something to celebrate with kids, all right? If I'm gonna be completely fair. And if a kid tells you they're gay, just tell them, hey, it's all right, Timmy, whatever your fucking name is, it's all right, man, you're gay, cool. Cool. And all you can tell them is, hey, maybe talk to it with your parents because I don't. I also don't think a teacher should really be in that conversation 100%. Like, if I'm a teacher, I'd be like, oh, Timmy, you're gay. Oh, okay. Um, hey, look, that's that's all right, man. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. But talk to your parents, man. Talk to your parents. They're the ones who are your guy, your moral guy through life growing up. But when it comes to high school, I do think you should have more conversations. Like, I think it's fine if in a classroom you're like, hey, do you think – being non-binary is a real thing you can have that conversation post high school but I think that's all I really gotta say I feel like my take on it is one that I haven't seen many people take because I feel like nowadays we have we live in this time where you have to be really on one side or really on the other and it's it's a little odd the way people think about it but I think it should just be as simple as when they get to high school have the conversations because here's the thing and parents and by the way to the parents watching this to the parents watching this who have high school kids, your kid is going to grow up soon. And they're going to have to learn real quick that the world out there is bitchy. 
that they ain't gonna have mommy and daddy by their side. Some of these kids might be entering the workforce or some of them will be going off to college to tell you to fuck off, all right? So these kids are starting to learn how to drive. Some of them will be even able to vote. They're making careers for themselves. Some of them becoming parents pretty soon. All you can do post high school is guide them the best way you can and become a good moral compass for them and be a good leader for them, be a good role model. That's all you can tell them. But strict, restricting them from learning about stuff like the LGBT, which nowadays I think more conversations should be had because it's a major thing going on. When I was a kid, my dad was just gay, bad, LGBT, bad. You're not allowed to watch SpongeBob. I wasn't allowed to watch SpongeBob for a fucking year. Like fucking, that's gay as shit, bro. He thought SpongeBob was gay as shit. Nah, I thought he was gay as shit for not letting me watch SpongeBob. You know, he didn't let me do a lot of things, but he never had that conversation with me. He just said, Bible says it's a sin. And yeah, it is true. It's a sin, but you shouldn't just be like, hey, gay is all bad. And if you say something slightly gay, fuck you. No, I also think parents should be handling these things better, especially as Christians. As Christians, we should love thy neighbor. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm not a perfect Christian. I think one of my issues right now with a lot of Christians ever since I came back to the faith has been... A lot of Christians aren't Christian until the LGBT is mentioned. I'm calling out a lot of people I know personally in my real life. They'll talk about, oh, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. But yet they'll have sex before marriage. They'll do a lot of degeneracy. They'll masturbate. They'll do all this degenerate bullshit. And even I have been cursing in this video. So please, I, I, I apologize for that. I've been cursing in this video. And I need to stop doing that. But... You'll have a lot of Christians that will do all this outer world sinful th things. But then once the LGBT is mentioned, they're like, oh, uh, there wasn't an, an Adam and Steve. Uh, uh, you can't transition. It's like, OK, why are you just now mentioning God? Where were you when you were out there drinking at 3 a.m. at a club fucking three women at one time? Like you're telling me that's Christian? No. So that's another conversation we had. I think Christians need to start being better examples in the world. Nowadays, including with me, people just say they're Christian without actually going to church, reading their Bible, praying throughout the day, pray morning, night, during lunch, whatever. Do that. You know? And yeah, LGBT stuff is sinful. But you can't tell other people about their sins being bad when you're committing sins and you're not doing anything to change that. Me, at least, I acknowledge that I curse too much. And I've had premarital sex. And I still got those urges to do it again. But to me, someone who's trying to get back to the faith, I try to discipline myself as much as I can. But that's just my personal thing. But ultimately, when it comes to LGBT stuff, look, hopefully things get changed for the better. You know, I think there are some issues. And I'll talk about them on this channel because that's what my channel is. But till then, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And stay sober, stay sexy, and live in the now. Ciao.